Uh, you know, I, I think the when they um, uh, draft the national security law, actually they have is a retaliation against the protest movement. And when they look at the protest movement last year, they uh, believe that they see that uh, independent reporting is very much of a sort of a threatening to the regime. And therefore, you know, one of the target they have, apart from the pro-democracy politician, they have also a target of the media. And especially uh, Jimmy Lai and the Apple Daily, who have uh, been uh, uh, do a lot of independent reporting. And one thing for sure, Jimmy, can have, uh, Apple Daily have never been co-opted uh, by the Chinese communist regime. And when you are not co-opted and you try to support the uh, uh, movement, you know, by independent reporting, they will come at you. And I, I think this is very clear uh, uh, this time that they arrest Jimmy and uh, his two sons and a lot of uh, the, the highest senior member of the Apple Daily is to threaten press freedom in Hong Kong and to have a chilling effect on all the media uh, in Hong Kong that if you are not co-opted and you try to be independent, this is what, what will happen to you. So this is a very clear retaliation uh, against the people, uh, the people of Hong Kong for protesting and, and Jimmy, uh, uh, one of the target. And of course, a retaliation against the sanction by the U.S. government just recently last week uh, against the uh, 11 uh, Hong Kong uh, uh, government official and Chinese government official. Yeah, you mentioned there that the chilling effect that this is designed to have on the media in the city. In fact, Jimmy Lai's arrest has been described as the first step of a media blackout in Hong Kong. Um, do you expect his news outlet, Apple Daily, will be forced to close and will others follow? Um, yeah, I, I think when you look at how they do it today, they get 200 police into the Apple Daily office and this is really a very clear a threat uh, to all the other media group and, uh, in, in, and imagine when you have so many police there. And then Jimmy is not just being charged with uh, um, a national security law of collusion with foreign power, and he is uh, also being charged with what they call fraud. And I think this is another way of drumming up something so that they have the excuse. Uh, we are worried in the future that not only uh, Jimmy Lai will have uh, have to face criminal charges, but the, whether the whole Apple Daily can continue as a media group when uh, their whole management is being arrested. So uh, this is a very clear. I, I want to blackout, cleanse, blackout, cleanse the media in Hong Kong. And uh, and this is an example. If you don't uh, not co-opted, then you will be uh, 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 suppressed. And and of course, this is not just uh, the media. Uh, and when you look at what happened uh, in the global uh, situation, uh, they have disqualified 12 candidates and they are, have already uh, uh, pro postponed uh, coming election uh, in the name of COVID-19, which is absurd. Uh, and, but they have, po they have used the National People's Congress to postpone it for one year. So they're doing everything, you know, one, by, one, 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 one you know, punch by another punch, and, and, and they are trying to suppress... Uh, the movement in Hong Kong and uh, the voice of the people of Hong Kong. Yes, yeah, so I mean, do you expect all activists, including yourself, will now be targeted? I mean, how, how will the pro-democracy movement continue under this sort of pressure? Um, yeah, I, I'm also, of course, uh, being re recently being followed uh, uh, on the street and so every day, and I think this is one of the signals that I may be also one of them the target other people like uh, Joshua Wong and other activists are also being followed uh, lately. And so we, I think, uh, you know, they, they will pick out, pick out people uh, one by one and then they, they, they will try to continue the threat uh, to the people of Hong Kong and to have that, you know, uh, chilling effect so that no, no, you know, silence the whole Hong Kong. And, uh, and I think uh, also, you know, uh, the rule of law uh, is being threatened. The legislative council is being threatened. Media is being threatened. Civil society also, you know, we as the civil society who come into protest, I have already nine charges uh, un, uh, under the public order ordinance for four uh, uh, assembly. Um, so I, I think they are, you know, trying to, you know, squeeze down on the space and 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 uh, punish the people of Hong Kong for what they did. But I think the people of Hong Kong will stand firm and continue our fight for freedom and democracy. And Lee Chuk-yang, what is this doing for Hong Kong's 
international reputation as a city where business can be done freely? When, when you, you know, target the media, you know, which media, the information is really the, the key or the, the center of a uh, financial uh, hub. And if Hong Kong try to claim that they want to be the international finance center, when you hit at the media, when you hit at the freedom of information, freedom of uh, speech, then you are actually destroying uh, the whole uh, international financial center. But that's the problem. You know, Chinese Communist Party seems to suggest that uh, they don't care, you know, uh, when they have 70 percent of the uh, uh, foreign exchange done through Hong Kong uh, uh, so that, you know, Hong Kong is the one that uh, helped China in the economy. But they seem not to care. And, and I think, you know, the consequence will come uh, in the future when you destroy the Hong Kong financial center, you, uh, they also destroy uh, the, the avenue for the renminbi to uh, go international and, and in, in exchange. So I, I think this had also consequence for the Chinese Communist Party. But the worrying thing is that they seem not to care. Uh, and, and then they seem more to care about, uh, you know, suppressing the voice of the people of Hong Kong than uh, the, uh, the, the, the um, uh, stability and economic development of uh, China and Hong Kong. Lee Chukyan, thanks very much for joining us.